According to the ancient Greeks, at the centre of the world sat three old women, Clotto, Lachesis and Atropos, Spinner, Allotta and Unturnable, whose task it was to spin threads of life for every person on the planet. A person's life would be measured out in advance, and when the thread of life was cut, then that person's time on earth would be over. This city is full of thousands of different people, 757,000 at the last count. That's a lot of lives and a lot of stories. A lot of different threads twisting around and weaving in and out of each other. Together these threads form a complex tapestry, an ever-changing map of the city. The tapestry of Leeds stretches back into the distant past and onwards into the future. It covers the streets and houses, the woods and fields, the factories, the railway stations. Everything that is here today and may be gone tomorrow. Its patterns shift and change each day, and it is impossible to see more than a tiny part of it at any one time. Each thread of the tapestry intersects with others, but still inexorably follows its own path. In the story of the Cretan Labyrinth, the hero, Theseus, must follow a thread, a skein of wool that leads him through a mysterious network of underground tunnels. Every year, seven girls and seven boys from the city of Athens are sacrificed to a terrible creature which lives at the centre of this structure. A minotaur, a monstrous man with the head of a bull. This is the monster that Theseus must face and ultimately kill. But in doing so, he must also face himself, and become a different, stronger person. The thread takes him to the centre and then back out again, providing a route of escape. And through the process of making the journey, he finds himself transformed. Perhaps this is part of what a labyrinth offers. A chance to think about the routes we have chosen to walk. To face our monsters and demons and contemplate the paths we hope to follow in the future. A journey there and back again which allows us to emerge the same but different, blinking in the light, at the point where we departed.